Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at how we defrost a comfort line air source heat pump. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this week we're actually getting hit with an Arctic blast of cold air. So the mild temperatures that we've been enjoying, certainly over the last couple of months, which haven't been very sort of autumn or fall-like or, or anything like winter, uh, are actually going to plummet over the next few days. So I was keen to see how my Comfort Line air source heat pump was actually going to perform in the uh, colder temperatures. Now. As you may have seen on this channel, and if you haven't, then please do subscribe. Always a great opportunity to get that in there. Hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I put two long form videos out every single week, and I have a whole bunch of shorts as well. So please do subscribe to the channel. Gives me loads of motivation, as I keep saying, to continue to make these videos. So if you have watched on this channel any of the videos about the Comfort Line air source heat pump, you'll know that it's only rated to zero degrees C or 32F. Now, the temperatures have plummeted, as I've said, and I woke up this morning and it was a minus two degrees, which is about 28.4 F. Now, obviously, the first thing I thought was, I wonder how my air source heat pump is, uh, is actually performing. So obviously, a little bit weird, but there we go. First thing I did was actually checked on the Wi-Fi app on my phone to see how things were doing. I expected to see the, the ambient temperature warning and the temperature of the hot tub to have actually dropped because obviously the pump wasn't running. However, that wasn't the case. I was pleasantly surprised. My holding temperature of 30 degrees C or 86 F was actually being maintained and the pump seemed as if it was running as normal. So first impressions were, wow, well, well that's worked because obviously overnight it would have actually dropped lower than that negative two degrees. So I, I was pretty pleased. So after a cup of coffee, it was time to go and actually inspect the heat pump. Now, what I did find was that the uh, outside of the casing was thick with ice. So I had to think, well, how am I gonna defrost this? I've read in the manual that there is a mode to, to actually defrost the unit. Uh, but before I kind of look at that, I want to explain a little bit why air source heat pumps actually freeze up in the first place. Okay, so let me try and explain this as simply as I can. So the air source heat pump is extracting the heat from the cold, moist air. So even if it's at zero degrees C or 32F, you know, this, this would be kind of what it does normally. But what happens is as it's extracting this heat, the moisture actually freezes on the coils. And that's what you can see on the outside of the unit when it's actually thick with frost. Because the difference in the temperature between the air temperature and the refrigerant inside of the air source heat pump is smaller, less heat is absorbed and less refrigerant is evaporated. So if the temperature, the ambient temperature doesn't rise, then the compressor inside the air source heat pump is continually working to try and generate this heat. However, as the ambient temperature is still low, there isn't enough time for it to actually thaw the ice on the outside of those evaporator coils. So what happens is more and more ice builds up, so it just gets thicker and thicker on those evaporating coils. Now, the downside to this is it's a bit like insulation. So what happens is, even if some warm air is extracted from the air, it's actually passing through the, the ice, so it's getting cooled down. So it's kind of like the, the inverse, if you like, to, to insulation. The ice is stopping it hitting the coils, and if it's not hitting the coils, then it's actually reducing the surface area for it to be able to go through the, the heat exchanger and, you know, and transfer into the water. So what you've got is you've got this buildup of ice that's really decreasing the, the efficiency of your unit. And if you don't get rid of that ice, eventually the unit will stop heating. And, and that's when the, the auto cutoffs will, will actually kick in. So it's time to get defrosting. So as I said, I'd read in the manual that there was a, a method for, for a manual defrost 
of the comfort line. And to actually do this, uh, you need to run the unit for 30 minutes first. If the unit hasn't been running for 30 minutes, then this mode won't kick in. And that's what happened to me the first time I ran it. So after 30 minutes, what you do is you press simultaneously the mode button and the temperature down button. You hold them for five or six seconds and then you will see the, the heat light begin to flash. And at that point, you know that you've entered the defrosting mode. What happened next was pretty cool. So the, the fan actually stops and what the unit does is, you know, if you're watching it after a minute or so, it just looks as if the unit is spraying hot water all over those coils on the outside of the unit and just melting the ice and the ice just drops away, there's steam going everywhere. Now, I know this in fact isn't spraying water, it's just what the, the kind of a byproduct um, but it, it does look pretty cool. And as you can see behind me, this is the, the process that is actually happening. So what the unit actually does is it kind of reverses the, the cycle. What it does is it actually switches the evaporator and it, it turns it kind of like it into a, an air conditioning unit and, and working in that way and it becomes a condenser. So that refrigerant that's inside of the unit, because it's working in the opposite way, it it gets heated up, the heat then goes through those coils, it melts the ice, and in melting the ice, you get what, as you can see behind me, the, the effect of the, the ice melting looks as if it's being sprayed with, with hot water, which obviously it, it isn't. So this mode itself on the comfort line heat pump can only be used every 30 minutes. And for me, I used it once and within about two minutes, the unit was, was totally clear of ice and it didn't ice back up even though the uh, the ambient temperatures were still sub-zero. So it's a pretty cool feature and in conclusion, the comfort line, whilst it is not rated below zero, in my experience with my own unit, it does continue to work. Yes, the efficiency will have dropped for sure. Exactly what I, I might be able to tell on my uh, smart meter you know, later on this week when, uh, when, it, when it kind of ticks over, I can see compared to, to last week when it was warmer, what the, what the kind of difference is. But what you can't do is leave that ice build up on the unit because that eventually will prevent it from working. However, there is that built-in defrosting mechanism, which is pretty cool to watch, but more importantly, it's really functional as well. So I hope you found this video useful and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.